Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. My name is Anton, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to download the best version of USB Loader GX, which allows support of GameCube games. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like, and subscribe if you're new for future videos on the channel, and let's get started. So the first thing that you will need is an already soft modded Wii, an SD card, or micro SD card, which you will need an adapter for. You will need a USB or external drive to store your games in, and the larger the sizes, the more games you will be able to hold. And finally, you will need a computer or device that accepts USBs or SD cards. So anyway guys, you want to go down into the description, and you know, there's going to be a link that says USB Loader GX Mod. So you'll be taken through this page, and we have apps, USB and wants. So let's take a look at everything here, just so you make sure uh, that everything is there. So number one thing we have is apps. Now you may have your apps already um, in your Wii SD card, so here I have the multi-manager. Mode Mod Manager, we have the Nintendo emulator for GameCube games, um, and we have USB mod. If you already have the top two, you can just take the USB loader uh, mod, because um, that's definitely necessary. Uh, so you'll need that. Then we have our WADs, which in our WADs, that's where the actual, that's a channel basically. So it'll be on your um, home page, so you can click it. So as you can see, that's the WAD file, that's for the multi-mod manager, that's how we'll install it. And finally, we have USB files, so you're gonna put these in your, tied, uh, your USB. So we have games and WBFS, your games are for your GameCube games, and your WBFS are for your Wii games. But make sure that in the games folder, there's boot.doll, because that will make the GameCube game run in USB Loader GX. So anyway, what you want to do is just click the download button, and it should start downloading. So, once it's downloaded and unzipped, we have these three files, as you can see here, and what we're gonna do is just take our apps folder, and we're just gonna drag and drop it into our SD card. It may ask you to merge it together if you already have an apps folder, so definitely do that. We're gonna put those files in our USB, and we're gonna put the WAD inside our SD card. Now what you want to do is, in your USB, you want to make sure that the files inside are on the root. Um, so you can't just have the USB folder inside. You want to make sure that you just have um, just the games and WBFS files, and it should be good to go. Now for the important part, we'll need to add games. So as you can see, I cannot provide um, games for you guys. Um, but all you need to do is just go on Google and you'll probably find it. But as you can see, the folders are set up with the, um, the name of the game and then the code underneath. And then in the folder of the game, it just says game.iso. Just like that, it may even say GCM, it may have like a different, um, file name. But just put game, um, and it should look like this. Just like that, and make sure it, um, looks like that. And as you can see, that's pretty much how we do it for all of the games here. Anyway, as you can see, here's how the Wii games are organized. We have the name of the game and then the code, exactly the same way the GameCube, but instead it doesn't say game.wbfs, it says the code.wbfs. So what we're going to do is just take the ROM and we're just going to rename the ROM. So you're just going to highlight the uh, main part there. And we're going to name the folder the name of the ROM, which is Super Smash Bros. Brawl with the game code. And then we're going to take our actual ROM uh, file, and we're just going to get rid of the name. And we just have the code. We're also going to take away the brackets at the side. And as you can see, that's how it should look. And by doing that, the game box art will be able to download from Game TDB, and like I said, if you don't know the game code or anything, make sure to go to Game TDP, which will be down in the description. Anyway, now we can eject our USB and our SD card, and head to our Wii to put it in. 
So guys, here we are on the Wii, and as you can see, all we're gonna do is go to the Hover channel, so just click on it, and we're gonna press start. Now once you're here, we wanna go to the section where it says USB Loader GX, just click on this app, and press load. As you can see, it should be mounting the USB. And as you can see, you may not have these games once it's downloaded. You may have some, uh, but mostly they might have question marks like this one here, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Yeah, we're going to be taking a look at that in a bit. But first, we want to go to the settings to configure everything to make sure that you have uh, what's going on on screen. So anyway, let's go to the settings and we're going to start with um, GUI settings. Just click on it. I have all these stuff. These are not really that big of a deal. Um, you can change them, but there's not much that, honestly, I would say um, that's in good to change. In Loader, we have a lot of stuff here as well. You can um, change these. There's a lot of important stuff here, um, especially, like, you have GameCube um, sources and GameCube settings. Um, so you want to make sure that it's set to Nintendo with the GameCube mode, and you want to have make sure the main path is your SD card because that's where Nintendo don't is and as you can see here's our Nintendo don't um, all of our settings so as you can see we have like um, widescreen video mode like stuff like that you guys can automatically just um, change those as you can see here in Nintendo don't um, actual settings you can even change where you want the memory card as well memory card emulation and a whole bunch of stuff like that so Definitely just check that out, you can also do like, different, like if you want PAL, if you want like, different settings, you can do like the block size of how much you want the memory card to be. And another thing you want to check too, is your custom paths, and you're just going to configure those and make sure that they go to the correct places, that way you have your game showing up correctly. Anyway, back on the USB Loader GX menu, we're going to click this button here. Where, as you can see, you're just going to go to the game, which is Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and just click on the box art. And as you can see, we're just going to be downloading everything that we need for the game. As you can see, it's going to find the files, and it's going to download them from Game TDB. Anyway, as you can see, here it is, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And if we go back to the main menu, just go to it right here, and click on it. It loads up perfectly fine. And as you can see, we have Super Mario Sunshine working very nicely. We also have Super Mario Galaxy 2 working very well. And as you can see, we have Super Smash Bros. Melee working. And as well as using the GameCube controller, you can also use the Classic and Pro Wii controllers. They work just the same. And you can also use your memory cards, or you can just emulate the memory card as well. There's a whole bunch of options with the USB loader, so definitely go to the settings and pick which settings you want. Anyway, now that we've taken a look at USB Loader GX and the mod with the GameCube games, we're going to actually download a channel. Now, you don't have to do this, uh, it's not necessary, but if you want to have the nice USB loader just simply to get on, also it's slightly different from the version I just showed you, um, by just the placement of the icons and stuff like that. I think it looks better, but you're just gonna go into your multibond manager, click on wads, and then you'll be brought into this page, and you're just going to select it using the A button, and I already have mine installed, so I don't need to install it, but that's really easy. Now, I don't want to be responsible for anything happening with your Wii console, so do be wary when downloading those. So, yeah, definitely just make sure that your power doesn't go out or nothing happens, and you should just be fine. Anyway guys, as you can see, we have the USB Loader GX channel here, so you can just click it, and press the start button. And once it's loaded, we'll be brought into the main page. And if all your games come up correctly without any of the Wii channels, because you might have those box arts instead, if it doesn't work, then you've done it correctly. Also, another thing I'd like to clarify is that this emulator is mainly for backing up all your Wii games and putting it here so you don't have to use your discs. That's mainly what it's for. 
So, I'm not responsible for anything um, that you guys do with it. So all I'm saying is just be careful. And that about wraps it up. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. And as well, make sure to comment down below if you have any concerns or issues because definitely this is not an easy thing to do or if you want to have ask a question, make sure to put it down there because I will try my best to respond to you as fast as I can. Anyway, make sure to subscribe for future videos on the channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.